Oh, don't look at my speedos. Kitsurito, welcome. How's it going? Hi, folks. Hi, folks. Give me one second. Oh my God. <laughs> How are we all doing? Hey guys, thank you so much. Sorry, I'm, I'm being obnoxious right now and looking at my phone. Just need, I need to text something real quick. I'm sorry. All right. Oh my God, yeah, thank you so much. That was fun. That premiere thing was pretty fun. Thanks for, for hanging out. Thanks for coming by, appreciate it. Uh, and there you have it. And uh, we're here to do some more work. Be Crohn's with the story, Kitsurito, you are an alien. Nice to see you, thank you so much. Hungry, as always, welcome everyone to the, the fan club meeting. All right, what are we talking about today in the meeting? Have we got some, some notes to go over? You like them, beat crones? Thank you so much. They are, they're really fun. I, I enjoy them quite a bit. They're fun. Hungry said it once. It's like crazy to watch so much work just happen in a few minutes. It's very like, yeah, it's very like cathartic or something. It's, it's fun, yeah. So thank you, man. So this is what we're working on. We're working on the tower. This is Shovel Knight. And I need to put in more stuff. But it's pretty much all there. What I'm going to do tonight is is add a little bit more to just the basic shape of it with the same color. And then I'm going to start highlighting it. You can kind of see a little bit. I started just to test colors, but like in the top there. It's kind of a greenish color of this. So I'm going to try to do like a, a bluish green sort of highlight. Bruh. Bruh. It's, it's very hot and humid too. And I'm feeling not great today. I'm not going to lie to you. I think I can be honest with you guys. I'm feeling a little meh. Meh, you know? But it's okay. Yo, Squall, what's going on? Thank you, man. Before we start the meeting, we need to review the minutes from the last meeting. Well, did those minutes uh, include you playing through the Minish Cap? Because I think we should discuss that. So that, was, that was brilliant. Brilliant stuff. You lost the minutes, B Crones. What are you even doing in this club? Come on, come on, man. God, finally. Hello, Keyglyph. I'm sorry that you got switched up there, but I'm glad you made it. You you got to see the whole thing, right? I hope. A little hmm. I'm a little hmm today. Yeah. I'm feeling meh. I really am. How are you feeling, Key? If I can ask you. I hope you're feeling good and better and stuff. All right. We're definitely gonna need our Ultramarine, yes. It's not just marine, it's ultramarine. Yeah, and I got my new light, so I'm expecting to feel even more. You know what I feel? Can I tell you something? There's a word that describes perfectly how I'm feeling, and it's a little gross, but we're adults. I feel clammy. Like, it's just humid, it's hot. I feel bleh, like gross and clammy. Do you know what I'm saying? But on top of that, I feel just kind of like, almost like I have allergies or something. I've been sneezing a bit here and there. I'm not a, I'm not really a fan of how I've been feeling today. What can you do? B. Crohn's is fired from being minute taker. Hungry, I trust every, Hungry is like vice president, I would think. Am I the president? I don't know. Thank you so much for the cheer. Thank you. Thank you. Thumb stroking the paint tubes. <laughs> well, I just wanted to make sure that the there it might have been dusty. I didn't want it to be too dusty. It's humid there too. Squall, where are you at again? Did I ask you this already? What's gross with the word clammy? Let's legit. It's just to me, it's just gross. Clammy. It's just gross. I don't know. You get me? It's been humid and warm where I am. It's just blarg. Blarg. Feeling fine. Oh, you're fine. I'm feeling fine but did some things today, so that was good. Good to hear, good to hear. You're definitely VP. I mean, you could be president, I don't know. I mean, do I, Tampa, Florida? You know what the mugginess is all about then, sure. I think we talked about that. Sensual painting. <laughs> Grody, yeah. Maybe, maybe you're onto something there, Keyleth, just. 
Well, just clammy. Okay, here it is. Clammy for me, like, makes me feel like just dirty. Like, I hate when my hands are dirty. You know, when like you work with something that's like sticky, like honey or something, like you open a jar of jelly and it just gets sticky. No, I hate that. I can't deal with that. So that it's something to do with that, I think. Maybe. I don't know. So it's really a, a, a dirty kind of thing. All right, I think we're pretty close here. I need to, we're putting in the stairway, kind of there's a little stairway to heaven over here. Coming straight across like that. So I may need to fix up. I have some errant lines here and there. What are you gonna do? Weevil Spleen, more Shovel Knight, what is up? I know you love this game, don't you? So you're excited about this? I hope I make some good progress tonight, but as I was just saying, we'll see how long we go tonight, because I'm feeling a little, you know, clammy and gross. Audio Eric, what's up, man? How are you tonight, sir? So nice to have you back. I'm gonna try to match the color of this back here, because I gotta fix that up, I think. Sure do. Sure do. I've also just been staying up a little bit too late the last few nights. Actually, last night I slept well. I slept pretty early for me. But... I don't know, maybe that's just catching up with me too. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know. I don't want to bore you guys with my clamminess. So I'm looking at the picture on my phone. Let's not go crazy here. So we're basically just erasing some stuff here, but I think that's okay. Oh, I should get rid of this too. Cool. I think that's fine. I think that's just fine. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone's good. You like the faded far away look of the castle? Squall, I appreciate that. But just you wait. We're, we're going to get more detail to this thing, but it's, it is going to be set off. That's why it's a blue color. Um, but as, as I was saying, the highlight of the tower, which will kind of be on this side of it, is going to be like a light blue, greenish sort of, just a little, little bit. We'll get to that after we block it all in. The Earl of Chesterwick. Welcome, good sir. Welcome back. How's it going? Own it on three systems and have... Have never beaten it? What? Spleen, you gotta beat that. Yeah, I just saw the lightning in the sky deviate when I was riding home. Bit muggy in Chicago tonight. Yeah, I feel, I'm so, I'm soupy. It is soupy outside. The moon is awesome right now. Ooh, look to the west. Okay, I've had a pretty enjoyable day so far. Hope yours has been one, yes. All right, let me, I gotta, let's do this. Let's make some progress. So this looks like it comes just straight across like here. Like as fun as this is, this tower is awesome, but it's like kind of following a blueprint, which kind of gets a little tedious. I want to get to the part where I get to make trees and stuff. You know how I feel about trees. <clears throat> I love them. I'll probably bring that up a little bit. Let's bring this up. Yeah, Hungry, the Dragon Warrior soundtrack is so good like when i was making that video i just went through the ost just to see what i could use and i was like i kind of thought of it as pretty archaic and not like i knew i liked it but but re-listening to some of it oh my god and that little um you know, in the game, like, after you save the princess, and you can go in and, like, and she's like, do you love me? And you can say yes or no. And when you say yes, it plays that really sweet little tune. 
once I heard that again, I was like, I knew I had to do that with this slime. <laughs> it actually made me laugh. All right, let's make that a little higher. Okay, so now let's just make, as I say, oh my God, just a little stairwell over here. You're bad with boss rushes, but I they give you like health after each one that you beat. It's not it's not too bad. I know you can do it. I know you must do it. It must be done. This reminds me of like a it's like a roller coaster track or something around this whole castle, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Think about what it would be like to take a roller coaster ride around a castle like this. I would enjoy it. Not a big roller coaster guy, but well, I have to be in the mood. If I'm in the mood, I enjoy them. All right. So now we got to make these little columns holding these up. <sighs> mm. Yeah, I'm I'm so clammy. I'm sweating already. Finally eating some food after a long wait. Hope you're all well, hope you're well. What are we having for dinner there, Kitorito? I would love to know about it. I had some salmon tonight, it was great. Going through Cuphead confirmed. I have not gotten back to get that game working. I don't know if it is working at all. I gotta, I gotta get on that. All right, so we're just gonna make some kind of indications of stuff here. Because something's got to be holding this stuff up, right? I guess. Dragon Warrior music in my head. Alright, that looks cool. Right, audio, Eric? That would be a lot of fun. Arby's chicken strips. Wow. Are they spicy? I was considering putting my castle in a roller coaster, but the treasury <laughs> treasury just couldn't accommodate. Damn it, Chesterwick. You can speak to our treasurer here in the fan club. I don't know who that is, but... I feel like Keyglyph would be a good treasure. Oh, the Batman has, has found his way in. Hello, Batman. Here come the legend himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Batman is here for the stream. How are you, sir? Thank you for coming by for the premiere and for being here tonight with us. You know, even though you give my buddy Dan B a hard time, you're still welcome. I'm not sure. Okay. 
Um, I think this the top of this tower is a little too high. I hope I can fix this. Should we try to fix this? I think I can fix this. It's a little too long. Like uh, it should be like to here. Just a little bit lower. We'll see. I gotta rest up for a little bit. I hope to be back. Keyleth, have a great night if you don't come back. No sweat. Absolutely understood. I hope you have a great night. And thanks for, for coming by and hanging. Always a pleasure. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Which Batman is this guy? It's a good, good question. Alright, so more color matching, which is a little tricky, but let's see. It's a little too light. Still too light. That's okay, we're gonna find you color. This color thinks I'm not gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. I promise you. I promise every single one in here I'm gonna find this color. That's, that's certainly not the color. Mm. Squall, thanks for hanging out. Thank you for, for stopping by. Have yourself a great night. Don't be too clammy over there in Tampa, okay? I hope not. Maybe Michael Keaton Batman? You hope it's George Clooney Batman, huh? In there, Weeble Swing? Mile Magna. That is quite a name. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Currently trying to fix some nonsense that I've done before. But welcome. Hope you're having a nice Saturday night. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's going to be nice when I'll still kind of flourish it up, but there's going to be a lot of trees. There will be a lot of trees in front of this too, so. It's just going to be little spots of sky color through there. It'll be nice. Hopefully. Alright. It looks a little sloppy, but I think... It'll be okay. That's Saturday night in New York, so hope you all ready for that. It's gonna be a little wild. What I want. All right, I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna just fill in more of this stuff. Clammy. I feel very clammy.
It's almost Saturday here? What does that mean? Isn't it Saturday where you are? You are making me confused. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Earl of Chesterwick is off. Where is he? Alas, I must be on my way. I simply wanted to pass and spread my salutations. Painting looks quite lovely. Thank you so much, buddy. Have a great night. Have a wonderful Saturday night. I hope Chesterwick is just lovely this evening. And thanks as always, dude. Just kind of solidifying in the blocking here. Like I said, the left hand side is going to get a lot of the highlight. I really want to get the left side good. This is a nice color, but it's kind of thin. So it's tough to get it to really adhere. So sometimes it needs a couple coats. That's okay. I got the coats. I got the coats and spades. You keep thinking it's Friday. I got a terrible sleep last night. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you dreaming of Minish Cap still? Relieving the glory. That was a glorious finale. It really was. <laughs> You've been confused all week. Thank you, EC. I really did enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you so much for being there and everybody else. I was, uh, oops, I was nervous about it. I hadn't done one of those before. And I was like, is anyone gonna show up? And But you guys came through, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it was cool, it was fun. Uh, my, my, maybe I'll do that every time I make a new time-lapse video, I'm not sure. But thank you, ma'am. Mm. <laughs> you need to reattach your head. Oh, I hate that. That almost happened to me. Actually, last night, when you can't go back to sleep, last night I got to bed like early for me. Like I was asleep by like 1.30, which is early for me. And then I had, I, I slept, I dreamed and everything. And then I just woke up and I was like, what time? It was totally dark and I looked, it was four in the morning. And that's so me to be able to do that and then just not be able to fall asleep. Like eventually I will, but there have been some nights where like I just sit there till like eight in the morning or I'm like, can I please just go back to sleep? And then you fall back to sleep. And then whenever you wake up, you still just feel like lousy because you didn't sleep well. If I could have one wish, well, that's not true. But one wish that I would have, that I would love is to be just a great sleeper. You know, when you meet people that are just like, I never have trouble sleeping. I close my eyes and I'm asleep. Every night. Just like, ugh. Oh, what I would give to be one of those people. That would be pretty incredible. But it is not me. I've never been a good sleeper. I have memories of being a little kid in my room and just like one by one I would hear all the members of my family go to sleep. I would just listen to it. I'd just be like, well, good night. I'm still awake. And that is me as an adult. <laughs> I slept once. What's up, Drewgy? How was it? Wasn't it amazing? 
Nice to have some excitement about a video. Yeah, it was awesome, man. I felt felt great. I was very sweet. Some back pain creeping. Oh no, trying to mitigate that before. You know what I did actually last night? Do you ever just lay on the ground and put and elevate your feet? That's supposed to be very good. Like it relaxes your lower back. And I was actually playing some video games and I was just like laying there. I propped my head up with my foam roller and I was just like playing for a little while and it was nice. It just kind of relaxed the back. I highly recommend it. I don't know, you slept right through it? Ha, <laughs> nice. You're a master of falling back to sleep, but initially falling asleep is always a challenge. Can you teach me? Slept a solid 13 hours last night? Oh my god. Wow, man. Used to go to, okay. Yoga is a strange thing. I don't love it. I've done it plenty. I just don't love it, you know what I mean? I wish I did. I don't. I just don't. Okay. I think... I think the moment is here. Well, let me block in this one tower over here. The moment is quickly approaching, sirs and ladies, for us to start highlighting this bad boy. Which is uh, exciting. So this is like a dawn. I see it as a dawn shot, right? Because he kind of wakes up and he goes off to school with his little shovel. So I think the light, I mean the light, the kind of concentration is kind of here. So it's not going to be much, but it's just going to be a little bit. I'm going I'm going to move this over. You know what? Let me check and make sure I can't see. Hang on. That's just fine. It is raining. There's the update for you. It has just started to rain. That's okay for you guys, right? I wish, I kind of wish I could work like that because this glare is a little, it's a little much. All right, so I'm gonna, like I was saying, blue and some green, maybe? Let's see if we can find a cool color here for the highlight of the castle. Okay, buddy. All right. You have chronic insomnia. At my worst, I was up for five days straight. Droogy. I'm with you, honestly. Like, I've never had it that bad. I had it once. My worst, I think, was, th like, three nights. And, like, if I slept those three nights, it was, like, an hour. It was freaking awful. So I feel you, man. It's freaking terrible. I had to buy new shoes yesterday. The insoles basically went to nothing. How does this pertain to the sleep discussion? Well, the results were make, were were me waking up with severe leg, knee, foot, and arch cramps. Felt like a railroad spike, yikes, through your limbs. Well, I'm glad you got new shoes. I would have to walk around for 10 minutes to make it go away, then sleep only to wake up an hour, oh my god. Brain won't shut off, dude, I'm with you. That's, that's totally the issue, yeah. It's awful, it's freaking terrible. Like, I don't even wanna talk about this because it's like, you know, you know. Ever since my spleen exploded, I've never, I need, I've needed more sleep to feel rested. So just explode your spleen, and that'll help. Okay, I'll get right on that. Thank you for that wonderful advice. <laughs> After three days, you start hallucinating, but it isn't really hallucinating. It's dreaming while you're awake. I'll tell you the whole story in a second. Ugh. Thought my dra drawings were coming to life. Anxiety is part of Yep. Let me demonstrate one of my nights. Okay. Brain, you awake? Yes. Something is terribly wrong. Like what? I don't know. Let's go through all the possibilities. I'd rather... Brain, too late. Here we go. Yeah. Bristle time. It's bristle time. Yes. Look at that. It is bristle time. Welcome and thank you so much. I appreciate that. We're having some fun. Um, coming up with a color to highlight. I'm going to see how this goes. 
So. Wait, let me just check this color. I'm not sure, but I mean, maybe it works. Let me see. Thank you for the follow too, Bristle Town. Appreciate that. Hang on, I'll tell you my my crazy story in a moment. It's hard to tell. Probably not so strong. I might try to make this a little more blue. So, uh, a good buddy of mine got married. We're talking like, God, uh, maybe 10 years ago or something. And, yeah, I think this is gonna work. Oh, yeah, I think that's good. And basically, yeah, I was the best man. So whenever there are like responsibilities I have to take care of, like in the morning or the day's coming, I'll like just not be able to relax and I can't sleep and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, like I was up at my dad's house and the next day they were gonna pick me up to go down. It was in New Jersey, the wedding. So like the night before my dad's house, it was summertime and the crickets were chirping like crazy, which I love, it's like one of my favorite s sounds. But they were so loud I couldn't sleep all night. Hey, Nudes and Dudes! How you doing tonight? <laughs> it's Gat. I'll apologize in advance. Um, how's it going, Nudes? Hey, what's up, Roman? How you doing, man? I started listening to Playlist Quietly to fall asleep. But it's really helped. Give me something to concentrate on. Hey, gang. What's up, Red Ox? How are you? How is uh, Shannon doing? On that note, I've got... I've had nights where I wake up every hour on the hour, but I've been, been so depressed. I once slept for 24 hours. Wow. Yeah, because when you wa wake up after that much time to sleep, it's going to mess you up, you know? So, yeah, I couldn't sleep the night before. So, like, I was like, shit, I'm about to, like, go on this weekend of, like, a wedding. And I have stuff to do. You know, I got to give a speech and all this kind of stuff and blah, blah, blah. And, so that was then, and I was like, man, I was like, let's just get to the hotel. Maybe I can grab a nap. So I tried to, like, grab a nap. Nope. I just, every time I tried to sleep, I could not. It just would not happen. So that night, I was like, okay, just let me get to the night. I'll be okay. Let me just get to the night. Got to the night? Nope. Because then at that point, and Droogie, maybe you, you agree with this, once it becomes a thing to think about, like, oh, my God, I need to sleep, you're not going to sleep because then you're all fucking you know, freaked out about it. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bright, buddy. So, yeah. Long story short, so that night I didn't sleep, and then the next day was the wedding. I got, th like, the wedding, the day of the wedding, I, like, gave the speech, the whole thing, that whole day, I was just, like, walking around, like, is this happening? Like, am I, is this really life? Because I can't, I can't even, like, think straight. It was so, it's like it turns into something so surreal. And it freaking sucks. It really does. Ooh, thunder. Got some thunder out there now, my friends. Don't worry. I'll protect you. So yeah, that's, that's not fun. Not fun stuff. It's a little too bright, but it's okay. I can always adjust this color. Tone it down. It might need a little less, or a little more blue still. Mm. I've been on everything, every med they could shove down my throat too. I've even taken multiple against doctor's orders. I still can't fall asleep. I feel like kicking in. I'm basically paralyzed, but I can't fall asleep. Yep. I mean, I, I don't think I'm quite at that point, thankfully. But sometimes, like, I've taken stuff that... It's just how you're describing it. I feel like I'm just, like, a zombie. But then that freaks me out, so I won't be able to sleep because of that. It's like... It's madness. 
But anyway, we're not talking about this anymore. Can't do it. How you doing, new the dudes? How's your evening? Did you stream tonight? What's the shape of this thing? I might go in for these finer details later, like off stream, because they make me a little nervous. I don't want to mess them up. Right. No stream tonight, okay. You stream so much though, do you have like a set schedule or? <sighs> I was afraid of Thunder as a kid because I had a babysitter that was. I needed the Thunder Buddy song. <laughs> My cat hates the thunderstorms. She's like. Yeah, she always goes like in the door jam of the closet. That's her safe place. It's kind of cute. She's much better today, and we've got some meds on board. Nice little time sore. Well, that's good. Good to hear. With a bowl of cereal and American Dad reruns, gets my mind on the jokes and I can fall asleep. Musty, what's up? The kids asleep now, we watched the premiere together. He also thought it was really cool. Oh, awesome. Nice, thank you, Musty. I'm glad that he enjoyed it. Glad you guys enjoyed it. That is nice to hear. So pretty much this whole side of the tower is in highlight. Again, it's a little it's a little aggressive. So I got this new light for the streams. Which hopefully is good, it helps you guys see, but it's a little hard for me to see what in blazes I'm doing. So I might have to kind of cock my head in weird positions here and there. like there are so I'm just kind of playing with what I think the shape might be I don't know my friends I think this might look pretty cool <laughs> I'm getting a little excited getting a bit excited over here
Highlighting is one of the most exciting parts of painting, I find. Because you just have a shape and you're just like, eh, it looks alright. And then you start throwing on some highlights and you're like, ooh. Things get pretty exciting pretty fast. Ooh, did I mention I'm clammy? I'm clamming over here. Topsy Turvy, yet again. I gotta add some more tunes to the soundtrack, but maybe I'll just do Topsy Turvy on a loop. <laughs> just play that nonstop for you guys. I stream four or five days a week for roughly two hours a night. Okay. Still, that's a lot. Like, do you get tired out? Because I know, like, I streamed three nights in a row once. Once. It was, I was I was like, I can't do that all the time. But, but then again, my streams will go a little longer. And of course, it depends on what kind of stream. Which is why I'm glad I kind of have mixed things up. That I'm not doing like just crazy hard NES games all week long, you know? Yo, Mr. Wallcakes is in the house. Welcome, sir. How are you doing tonight? Alright, so finally I can put in this. I've been waiting to just fill in this little spire. Because I knew that the color would be the highlight color. So let's do that now. How's it going, Wally? Hope you're doing well. Well, having an evening offline was a good choice for me. It sounds like it, yeah. I think we all need time away from it. Had your video going with the Bob Ross audio going. It's like you're trolling chat by not painting what you're talking about at all. <laughs> nice. I only adopted the schedule a few months ago. Before that, I had... I never had a steady schedule. Okay. It's going... It goes well, my friend. It's good to hear, my friend. Slippery... Pain us. <laughs> oh, wait. Slip Slipper? Slipper e penis. God, these names, I can never really. I probably butcher everyone's name, so I, I apologize, but welcome. Yes. Yes, that is. That's the. Uh, that's the madness of painting, right? Like, you use some blues, and you can make something look so far away. It's so cool, right? I'm totally, I'm getting my clammy, stupid hands all over the place, and that's not good. I'm sorry. Sorry, painting. But welcome, thank you for stopping by the stream. Okay, so, let me... Oh, you see Myers is on the, with the, with the... What do you call it? What's that game? Super Metroid? So I want to hit that little shadow underneath because the light would not be hitting that so well. You nailed it. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. The colors of your names. Yeah, I love that when the colors are the same and you get mixed up. Okay. 
And what we can do too is actually hit the low lights more. I might put a little darker color on the edges of the right side. But that's that's later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here, my friends. Oops. Oh, there are these really cool there's a really cool part in this tower that's right around here that like these huge like columns I guess like support columns in a way let's try to do that so I might actually have to redo that part but that's okay there it is have to fix up some of this like because it's crazy like if you just don't highlight a part depending on where you do highlight it can just look like shadow and that's kind of what I want to go for here color you know it's all a trick it's crazy it's a little trick of the eye for tricking your eye, I guess. That was pretty neat. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Something like that. That might even be a little too bright, but like I said, I can work with it. I don't like the shape of this guy. It is so 
clammy. Thank you, hungry. Yeah, this is this is this is looking pretty cool. Just wanna make sure that these are not too bright. Let me do this. Kind of cool them down a little bit with a little blue. Yeah, that's, um, I thought about that too. With the King's Quest 1 especially, I didn't want to just stick to NES games, which is what I was doing for a little while. Um, I think it'll be good for the convention too to have more of a, a broader array of stuff to show to people, you know? Alright, so the, it looks like the roller coaster is all in highlight, but let's, let's do these towers first, actually. Plus my highlight paint is like drawing quicker by the second and that can be an issue because you want it to be consistent, obviously. Which I'm totally cool with because it's been, as I said, pretty muggy and gross. I'm pretty much over summer at this point. I'm not a huge summer guy anyway. I'm ready for the fall. Wish it would rain there. Oh, thank you, Mr. Wallace. Wally! Making me feel so nice, thank you. Trying, man. Well, like I was saying before, like when you're highlighting and stuff like this, that's where it starts to just pop and it's like, just gets very exciting. It's hard to stop, you know? It's also tricky to know when to stop, like you don't want to overdo it at the same time. Because then it just all becomes like one thing and that doesn't make sense. So now I want to hit again underneath that those like spires like a lip there so I want to make sure that 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 line is kind of intact like a shadow underneath and this one too well this one I haven't even highlighted yet so. and also you know what's really neat there are like little windows in some of these towers looks like so you could do like a little something like Wah! like that <laughs> that's cool do a little Wah! Wah! that's cool I mean there's got to be a door right they gotta walk in and out of the roller coaster stairs mm. I've been craving autumn dude yeah I can't wait I mean it's August now 
we've we've had it, Summer. Let's, let's move it along. Things sticking to things they were never meant to stick to. I hope you find this much inspiration and in, oh my god. Deviate, let me ask you this. How do you say the name of this game? You know? I don't know how to say it. We were joking about it, and I think it was Sir HC's stream the other day. I was like, do I just call this game... I'll do it, but it sounds a little strange, you know. Alright, so this is gonna make me a little nervous, because I have to remix this color. Let's see if I can do some more over here. So it's basically ultramarine blue. I have this green that is... It's called Hooker's Green. We're all adults here, come on. More blue to green, and some white. Because this is acrylic, it dries pretty fast. The letter V six times. That's, that's, I think Sir HC actually said that. He said that that's what it was called, and I didn't believe him, because who believes anything he says, you know? Give me a break. That's pretty close. Alright, so now I got a nice new batch of highlight color. Should work alright. Yeah, I'll, I'm starting that, yeah, I'll start that on Tuesday. I may even throw on a little bit of the sky color, but like I said, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. It's just an idea. That's a lot of paint. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Relax. Just relax. Yeah, it seems, I mean, I don't think I've watched any of the gameplay, but it looks like it's a sort of Battle Kid-esque type of get through a succession of screens. And are, is it like minimalist controls? Just pretty much just like... Does, does what I'm saying make sense to, to you at all? <laughs> you can clip it and show Sir HC, I don't care. He'll be like, Renaissance. Come on, man. Thought we were pals, man. That, that spire's a little funky looking. <laughs> Wally did it. <laughs> Wally has been waiting to bust me on something for so long. Ever since I won. Sorry. Ever since Rosella tried to kick him out of the chat during King's Quest 4. Damn you, Wally. It's not enough you had to show me up in the rap battle. Alright. I know. I, I see what the score is here, Wally. It's okay. I understand. It's okay. Kick Wally. You'll never forget. The betrayal. Yes! <laughs> I will. It's basically a Commodore 64 style flip screen action game married with the Metrovania It's Great and the OST owns. But can't we all just be friends, right? What have I done? What have I done that's been so terrible to Wally except for kicking him out of my chat? I mean, has there been anything else? I don't think so. Okay, that's better. That spire was a little funky. That spire went to funky town real quick. We are friends, such great friends. 
Del Cobon! At least I can watch this awesome art. What's up? Well, I tried streaming editing my photos a couple- Oh. You don't have the internet speed. I'm sorry, man. Well, it's good to see you back, though. How's it been going? We are putting on some highlights onto our tower here. Um... I still feel like these need to get cool, cool down quite a bit. Because, I mean, so if the sun, or the, the, the light's coming this way, it's like, why would these things be so light, you know? After this, we'll do the, uh, let's do these, uh, what you call it? The cyclone stairs, whatever you call these things. Let's do that. Oh god, microwaved eggs, what? Can you do that? I don't think you can do that. I know you shouldn't do that. Here, I'll just highlight that rock a little bit. Um, bagels? Oh my god, hang on. I'm missing something here. You move left or right, and the fire jump button flips you up or down, and the gravity works along with that. Oh my god. That is gonna be something to get used to. Gang, I need an opinion on something. I'm making food for my trip tomorrow. Help me with breakfast. There are just too many drops for my taste. Some up to 50%. I'm sorry, Delco. That's... I get that, though. If you're losing, like, quality and, and work you've done, if that's what you're talking about. French toast is best toast. <laughs> Gluten-free ones... Okay. Guess you're gonna poop then. Wow. French toast would be good. We have a microwave and a fridge. I go for yogurt and granola as my first breakfast pretty much every day. That's an easy one. Put it in the fridge. Bob's your uncle. Some nuts, some berries, fruit. I just got back from looking for snakes and other stuff. Got some cool, n nice photos. Very rare regal caterpillar. Terrifyingly large creatures. That's awesome, man. So if you guys don't know Delco, and correct me if I'm wrong, Delco, you do like micro or macro photography, so you get super, super, super duper in-depth, detailed shots on things all around in nature. You have eggs, or I don't want to say cooking hard-boiled eggs. How do you microwave an egg? I wouldn't trust a microwave egg. Microwave egg. 
Yogurt and granola, good call. Yep, sure. Takes notes, nice. But Zero keeps lying down under my desk and I don't want to bother him. Sleepy cat, best cat. Yeah, my cat has a tendency to just lay on my keyboard when I'm trying to do stuff, so I have to like slide her forward a little bit. Because I feel bad like disturbing her, but at the same time, I clearly can't do anything when she's like that. Like I'm trying to type. I'm like, ma'am? Can we not do that right now? But apparently she must, because she does it all the time. Alright, so we can hit some sexy little highlights here and there. I do want to get to the top of this though. It's just making me. I hope I can fix that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all kind of janked up. I've janked it a little bit there. And there is a cross on top of this tower too, which is interesting. It looks like the cross from Zelda 2. I wonder if they did that on purpose. And I'm kind of dotting it to give it like a a little texture like as if it's like brick or something. So it seems to be that's what they were going for in this. So what's up, King? For snacks or kids, I have cheese and meat sticks duo. Can you call those the Hungry Garaya snacks? The Grumble snacks? But you can't give them the snacks. You have to make them say Grumble Grumble, and then like, all right, here's your snack. They're like, what's the magic word? Grumble Grumble. There you go. Good kids. Good kids. All right. So there is more. Okay, so it looks like this the cyclone stairs kind of turn into part of like this ridge. So we can do that. Let's do that. Although I do have to do this tower too. Let's do that tower first. Kind of block that in. snacks kids grumble for me good kids have snack <laughs> grumble for me yeah. oh thanks Kane thank you for being there that was fun thank you for uh, hanging bring in Briando if it's a sweet snack you could call it the grumble crumble <laughs> hey kids want a meat snack yay Who doesn't like a good meat stick now and again?
see again this glare is kind of killing me here. Can't really tell what I'm doing. Yeah, I might have to go in with an even darker highlight here and there, a low light, if you will. Like, I'll take this purple, but add a touch of black, just to kind of outline like where this ridge kind of goes in front of that spire. Maybe I'll do that after, but first. Hmm. All right, let me do, I want to do this ridge. This looks cool. This looks like a fun time. Not quite that bright, that little blue. looks like it goes from like being on this little roller coaster thing now and it goes up oh this will be cool I can put a shadow in there um and become as part of like the rock or whatever that this whole tower is settled on here's something I think is fun to talk about red ox now that you're here and hungry. I think we were talking about it maybe, was it my last stream? I don't remember, but how we kind of discovered each other and started watching each other's streams. Um, and I don't know if, oh, EC Myers is streaming right now. But uh, I was trying to remember how I met all you guys. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I get to do, oh, that's right. I almost forgot about it. There's a there's another tower down here. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a tower there, and it's got a freaking wall with all those crenellations down there. Very sexy town. Very nice. Um, got hangry kids? Give them a Gryia snack. Guaranteed to turn the cranky's hungry Gryia into a satiated Gryia. They'll be back to throwing boomerangs in no time at all. Beautiful. It's the meat you just can't beat, Wally. It's a family stream. I'm gonna tell you one more time. I will kick you. Ah, uh, okay, well, Wally's already gone. Wally, have a great night. All good, buddy. Take care. Oh, he's going on vacation? Have a nice vacation, Wally. I'm still catching you. I met Hungry from a Robin raid, okay. I stormed to your channel after discovering your love of Fisander. So, yes. I met Hungry on Twitter. That's how I met her. And I think it was about, I don't remember who saw who's Fizanadu first, which sounds a little naughty, but I think you know what I'm saying. Um, and I remember going and watching her playthrough, and that was the moment I was just like, because she has like voiceover, and I'm like, oh, it's a girl. I, I, I admit I was, I was caught up in that whole assuming she was a guy. I'll admit it right now. But uh, I was immediately hooked. I was like, oh my god, this person loves Xanadu this much. We're gonna have to be friends. Um, so Redox, I remember, so, you know, I streamed on YouTube first. So I met a bunch of people through that. And I'm pretty sure it was by watching EC Myers stream that I met Redox, I think. Weren't you in his streams a lot, Red Ox? Like, I, th I feel like that's how I met you. I could be wrong, but... Um... 
Because I was like, yeah, I was doing the, the YouTube thing. So I was like in with, you know, Game Beaters and Great White North. AC Myers, Solid Nate, all those cats over there. I don't know if I like that. Anyway, let me let me do this little sweet little shout out here. Keyglyph? Keyglyph? Keyglyph I met not too long ago. I think it was I had seen Keyglyph, I had seen your name in a couple streams. Let's get this shout out real quick. And there's also, let's put a little window in there. Someone, someone needs to look out of that window right there. How's that sound? Look up here. Oh god. Oh god, yeah. Right? Someone, I mean, people live here. Some dastardly people. I'm back and the progress is astounding. Get out of here, is it? It's looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty cool. Um, I met HD from Esper Dreams and I'm still tumbling down that rabbit hole. Watch your stream after you see my stream one night. Eugene was the first YouTuber live stream I ever saw. He, I don't even remember how I started watching streams, honestly. You watched mine first? Okay. Always be, people always think I'm a dude. And then they find out you're Canadian. On top of that, it's crazy. We're talking about, yeah, exactly, he was, weren't we talking about this in another stream the other night? Through Capsule J, okay. I met you, Kiko, after you were in either Ren's or H's chat, and I'm not sure which, and somebody shouted you out, so I went off and found your stream. Nice. Okay. Capsule J pushed me into a hungry stream one night and I was like, well, this is awesome. <laughs> yup. Rapid dominoes falling. Yeah, it's thundering here a little bit, or it was before. I'm the streaming grandma. Yeah, you've been on a long time. Someone hosted What About Brunch and I found hungry from him. Okay. <laughs> he brings all the streamers to her yard. Yeah, um, when I made the switch over to Twitch, I mean, I met so many through Hungry, because I was still on YouTube when I met her, but, like, so many, I can't even, like, all, all, everyone that streams on Twitch, like, I met through Hungry pretty much. I think this tower needs to come out a little bit. All right, so again, I gotta do this, uh, this other tower down here, and it's got a sweet wall, which I'm very excited about, if you couldn't tell. All right, I'm just gonna block this in real quick. Like, Twitch is great just because, I mean, you meet so many people so quickly just through raids and stuff. It's really quite nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't, I couldn't even name anyone who I knew on Twitch before I knew Hungry, I think, because I didn't really, I don't, I, maybe I, I'm totally wrong probably, but like, I remember way early on, like when I first was like streaming, what's that? 
like I would watch Aaron plays and I actually like asked her for advice about getting my stuff set up because I think she had, was using a Mac and I have a Mac so we chatted a little bit and that was like the fall before I even started streaming I started streaming like in June the next year because I kind of gave up on it I was like yes eh, it's not working And now someone's playing the saxophone out in the street. No, they're not. That's from a car. That's my jam right there. Yep, I ride here. Oh man, scoop the kitty up and put him in his kitty bed. <laughs> what is he doing now? He's curled up and gone to sleep. I've been trying to put his back together, put this back together for a week. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I mean, I had a great time on YouTube, and I still go over to YouTube and watch my buddy's streams over there, but, like, I really enjoy Twitch more, I have to say. Like, it's, it, I mean, it's, it functions better, I feel like, but I also just feel like the, the community's great. Not that it's not over at YouTube, but... Yeah, it's been great. I'm very glad I made the switch. So clammy still. I'm so, I'm feeling so clammy still. It's nasty. It's freaking nasty town. All right, so there is there, there's a wall connected to this mamma jamma over here. It kind of comes. So if you don't know, you should by that by now. I love architectures from Middle Ages. I love castles, things like this. Something I freaking love are what's called crenellations, which are these types of walls that have these little teeth, basically, you know? So, like, you can shoot through them and then be protected when you're between them or behind them. This just kind of trails off, I guess. Oh, it's just a, it's a very cool looking thing to me. I really need to go to like Scotland, check out the castles over there. That would be so cool. Has anyone ever done that? I think I would greatly enjoy something like that. I'm missing a bunch of chat. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm I'm highlighting over here. You know. The Hungry Kingdom. That switch to Twitch. Heck yeah. Yeah, brunch was a big one too. Like brunch, Gunstar, um, Capsule J, Bobo. I think um, 
all the people that I would just go into a hungry stream and neat. That was great. I am hubblicious. <laughs> yeah, burst error is great. The connections on Twitch are so helpful. I was always frustrated with trying to find folks on YouTube. Yeah, for sure. Before I watched anyone, I had this impression that all streamers were kind of loud, brash, morning radio DJ types who might be offensive and would definitely be exhausting. Yeah. And then when I noticed that all of you were just hanging out in each other's streams and I started looking into all of you, I was like, oh my god, I found some chill corner of streaming. Yeah. It's nice talking to Ren, to Ren and RPG Chick about places to go in New York City. Heck yeah, man. I'll tell you where the best pizza is. <sighs> Party in Ren's hallway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it was Lord of the Rings randomizer? Wow. Crenellations, hell yeah. You have? Red Ox, where have you been? I'd love to hear about this. Oh, the first stream. Let me try to think about my first stream is watching different people. God, I'm hungry. Oh my god. That's tough. I don't remember the first game I saw. Which kind of makes me a little sad. Just gonna throw a little bit of shadow in that corner. To separate it a bit. And this wall needs to be flatter. First Ren stream is King's Quest for you. With no overlay and an echo mic, the basement stream, yeah. Metroid for NES. Okay. I wish I could remember. Brigand, you too. Remember going in and watching you like what play Ranger X and all that. What a time to drop into my streams. Hi Roman, how we doing? Welcome back. I think the first stream of yours I saw was the day you started Gris. The Calm Beast nickname was appropriate, it always is. Yeah, Kane, you were over on YouTube too, right? I remember that. Budapest, Austria, Vienna, wow. Wow, man, you've seen it all. Amazing. What was Budapest like? That is where my people come from. My grandparents are from Hungary. She's <laughs> someone is worldly. Yeah, right? That is amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I bet that was so amazing. Okay. Um, what are we doing here? What, what are we doing here? I'm trying to figure out what sort of highlight would be on this guy. Like, is there light also coming from that side? I don't know if I like that, you know what I mean? So I may just do... Maybe I shouldn't worry about that yet. Maybe I should just stick to my really bright highlight on this edge here.
man. I'm going to redo. I don't like this over here. My grand grandparents, yes, they were from Hungary. I believe my grandmother was born and raised there. And my grandfather, I feel like my grandfather was actually born here and then went back to Hungary and was raised and then he came back to New York. I think we all deserve an explanation here. The one I just gave, I hope, hopefully that was enough. My first stream, Ren stream was the other day. Yes, Roman, and it was lovely to have you. It was uh, Outlands, yeah. You're so new, you have the new car smell, Roman. Congratulations. Budapest was wonderful, but it was also a bit sad, frightening, eye-opening. It was the only city we ever visited where in the main districts, people were too poor to eat and sleep at the same time. What? So after they closed their shop for the day, they pulled out mattresses and slept on the street? Jesus. That is very sad. Okay, that was, okay, quite a while back. Space Quest? Oh, okay. How fun was Space Quest? My god, that was great. The art in Budapest is astoundingly beautiful. But back then, again, so many places were under hard times. Lots of the ruins were damaged. This would have been before they were part of the UE out. EU, sorry. Things were very different. Things were very different from Budapest to Prague. Yeah, Hungarian food is fucking... I'm not, I know I'm biased, but like, oh my god, it's so, so good. This wall also needs to come. Be a little more. Okay, and we'll just bring this up. That's a lot of paint. I don't need that much paint. So now what I wanted to do was... Make this work. Let's highlight these rocks. I assume it's just kind of a rocky terrain. Worst food I ever had was probably Prague. Really, or London, honestly. That's not surprising, I guess. Switzerland has amazing food. It's also called an artisanal leg. Like, I'm going to go broke if I eat twice in two days. Expensive. Crazy. In kind of a surprising turn for me, the worst food I ever had in a foreign country was in Scotland. I don't, I don't find that surprising. I feel like England, I mean, any of the, like the United Kingdom, anywhere there, has a pretty bad reputation for food. Favorite place that I visited was Rome. So much history, culture, vibrant sound. It was like heaven, wow. 
Zero is no longer under the desk. He has now curled up next to me. This is an important improvement. No, I just made up the word important in that. This is an improvement, but PZ is still in pieces. Well, now at least you can get to work, right? Let's go. Let's do it, Weevils. Let's do it, Weeblage. All right, we're making some progress here. Um, why do I have that song on my head? Do you know that song, Close to You? I have that song on my head, Out of the Blue. Like, why do birds suddenly appear? Every time that you're near Just like me They long to be close to you I get songs in my head sometimes and usually I can figure out how they got in my head because I'll have heard another song that has a part that reminds me of a part and that other song that's now in my head. You know what I'm saying? But just now, I don't know why that song's in my head. If I had the kind of money required for international travel, I'd visit Ireland, Germany, and Japan. I would, yeah, I'd love to see United Kingdom for reasons I just talked about. Scandinavia is, is the big one for me. Something about that whole area speaks to me. The Far East, not so much. I don't know why. Like, Australia? I have no interest in going to Australia. I know people that, like, lose their mind over wanting to go there. I'm like, why? Just seems like United States with a funny accent and you have to fly across the world to get there. They got some cool animals, I guess, but... I don't know. Never... that idea never did much for me. Really? She lives in Australia? No thanks. Well, one, just the time it takes to get there alone for me is like no freaking way. I, I cannot spend that long traveling. I will lose my, my mind. But yeah, two, just doesn't, doesn't seem very exciting to me. There's this cool little like thing in the ground over here. Yeah. Go down. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks cool. So we're putting it. What the heck? I've been a big pile of nowhere. <laughs> We went back to Europe and saw Ireland before the kids were born. It was glorious. My, my parents just went to Ireland a couple years ago. They loved it. My grandfather, my mom's, my maternal grandfather is from Ireland. Japan, honestly, but I need to figure out how to live and eat on a day to day, day to day basis before beginning to travel to Japan. Until then, me and Mr. Red Ox will like to visit more of the US with the kids. Nice. My grandparents are even more worldly. They've been all over the places I've listed. Australia, New Zealand, Japan. New Zealand I'd like to see. But then I'm kind of being hypocritical, aren't I? Or maybe not. Because those, like, when you watch, like, Lord of the Rings or Willow, folks, Willow was shot in New Zealand. Um, I'd love to see that. That area. Been to Canada, France, London, and Ireland. Nice. I've been to France as well, yeah. Where in France were you, Keyleth? 
I flew into Paris and then I took a train to Bordeaux. I spent a week in Bordeaux with a friend. It was it was lovely. Had a lot of baguettes and cheese. First time I went into Canada was because of a wrong turn. <laughs> I know I have told the story before, but I love saying that. I haven't heard that story before. So many video games in Japan, yeah. And Germany has a great beer scene and retro scene. It does, as does Ireland. Yeah, but that's a long way to go for video games, you know? We may be going to Japan next year with a bunch of friends. Wow. Oh, that's cool. There are Lord of the Rings tours and zoos. Yeah, I've, I've heard of that. Um, <laughs> I have a similar-ish story to that. I my best friend went to UMass up in Amherst and when I was you know back in college I went to go visit him and I had already been there several times and I was like I know the way no problem it's like it's basically one highway it's pretty hard to get lost but I'm driving up there on 91 North I know you know it Keyglyph I'm sure you do too Deviate and I'm just like, I don't know, I just got distracted or I got lost in my thoughts or whatever. And suddenly I'm like, shouldn't I have hit the exit by now? Like, this is taking way too long. I was like, well, I'll just keep going. It, it must be soon, you know, blah, blah, blah. And suddenly I just see a sign coming up and the sign says, welcome to Vermont. And I'm like, cool. I'm in Vermont now because I'm a moron. And then so I got off the highway to turn around. And as soon as I turned around, the hardest rain I ever drove in started pouring down. I couldn't even see, like, the white lines on the highway. It was terrifying, honestly. It sucked. But it was my own fault. I'm stupid. I think I might just leave those towers as is. I don't think they get any highlight. Sorry, guys, but I don't think you get any highlight. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Um, I've got an idea. Should I? I never use this. Check out this sexy purple. Wait, let me let me rub it. Get all the dust off. Check out the purple paint. What if I mix this purple and the ultramarine? Oh, look at that. Look at that guy. Look how dark and seductive that is. Yeah, I think this might be a nice shadow. Real dark shadow color. I'm gonna move this over a tiny bit, guys. You can still see it, right? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I will go on a New Zealand tour one of these days. Musty, let's go. That would be so cool. I've been everywhere, man. One of my best friends went to U.S. Come on, Key. What is this? Creepy. Yeah, it took 90Y the entire way up there. Yep. Yep, Vermont. Definitely think at some point we must have walked by each other. I'm sure we have. Just feel it. What if we just high-fived and we didn't even realize it? Tube stroking is now a requirement. You got it. Should have kept going. Bar Harbor, Maine is freaking cool. Ro it is a royal purple. It's dark, man. Let me, can I show you? Do you guys want to see the palette? I want to show you this. Well, first, let me... Let me just take out my ultramarine. I'll put a little bit more of that in the old palette ski. Just for a... A clear comparison. Alright, Musty, you ready? Musty loves when I show my palette. Palette cam, here we go. So, there's, this is the ultramarine, which is basically the sky and the tower, but look at this guy. That's like blackberry jam right there. That's the freaking purple. That is sexy, man. Okay. So, um, my friend's parents drove from Texas to New York, crazy long drive, but the only thing they told me about it was... As they went further north, the burgers got worse, but the pizza got better. That's all they said. This smile while stroking too. <laughs> Don't look at me. The lapis lazuli himself for the ultramarine. That's you better believe it. 
cosmic purple, the, co the color of dark matter. So saucy. What did you say during the uh, premiere? Sneaky touches? <laughs> those, those are my sneaky touches. Yes. Oh, purple. Oh man, this purple is a bit of a vixen, if I can say that. All right. So here's the part I really wanted to accentuate the dark because I want to make this come around and then go in front of this. Yes. Yeah. I think that's what it does. Well, not exactly, but close enough. Close enough, friends. So again, uh, this might be too dark for you guys to even pick up on, but you guys, you don't even, you wouldn't understand how dark this is but it's real dark. And I want it to jut in front of that spire over there. Is that too dark? It's a little risky going too dark. No, I think that's fine. Just to hit some of these real dark spots. along like this side of the tower here. Yep. I'm tired, okay? <laughs> There are a lot of new people in here. The Batman. The Batman feels overwhelmed. He does not like making new friends, but he's harmless, folks. Oh, you know where I want to hit? This little dark area, this little like thing that juts out. God knows what this is, the little tower, but what if we just hit a little bit of darkness in here? Be kind of neat. a little bit. Easy light. Take it easy, buddy. Alright, so now... Don't know if I should... Make that tower any darker. Ren seems like his mood has improved a lot. Glad you're feeling less clammy. I'm still quite clammy, but you guys have really made my night much better, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you. You're right. I'm, I'm enjoying... I You know what it is, too? I really enjoy painting, and this is coming along... Whenever I sit down and do these streams, I genuinely have no idea how it's going to go, and it makes me a little nervous. Sometimes I'm like... I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna work on. I don't know how it's gonna come out. But I'm pretty pleased with this. But also your your company is wonderful. Let's make a little a little hang and do dad. A little stalactite right there. Uh, yeah, I like that. Hit this right side here. Have I mentioned I love this tower? The whole design of it is so cool. <laughs> I've been in enough Jack Party streams to know Hungry's true nature. Get in line, Weeble. We all know. She's 
She's not to be trusted. He's been healed of his soupiness. Somewhat. The cheat is overwhelmed. I had to say it, sorry. It's like a reflex. Homestar runner reflexes. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. You have declammed me. That's gross. Yeah, me too, Key, yeah. Before you stream, you're like, I'm gonna suck at this game, and and then, again, excuse me. <laughs> um, Hungry gave me some wonderful advice one time. We were talking after the stream, or after one of my streams, and she was like, people don't come to your streams just to watch the game. They come for you. And that really stuck with me. So it doesn't really matter how you play sometimes. It's, you know, the fun you have doing it. So thank you for that sage advice, Hungry. It is clearly stuck with me. Do a little more darkness. The darkness. Man, I've never used this purple and it's it's a little exciting, I have to admit. I'm just nail this under here. It's pretty cool. I gotta hit the uh, the little a little cyclone bridge a little better here too. Just like that. No biggie. do if I had to do art on stream though. Yeah, I, I he, well, guys, honestly, again, Hungry is the reason I do this. Like, because we talked about it. She was like, you should stream that. I think you gave me that idea, didn't you, Hungry? Didn't we talk about it? She's made me the man I am today. So thank you. Thank you so much. Rose married and saged. <laughs> saged me. It is great advice. I started coming to the Saturday night art streams to see the art, but I keep coming back for the conversation and art, but the conversation is why I look forward to these. Yeah, me too. You folks are why I continue to stream. I spent the la the first year streaming alone, more or less, with maybe a handful of people that might stop in. That's crazy. It's crazy to think about like how it's not about the quality sometimes, because clearly, you know, your streams are so fun and so chill. And now it's great to see you, you know, gaining a lot of people to come in and stuff like that. But you were doing the same thing years ago and just no one knew about you yet. So it's great to see it, like, be something that's known now. People come to give you sass as well, not you specifically. Yeah, people love to sass, for sure. Also, don't get salty on stream, which is sometimes tough for me. It isn't a good look, and it just makes you play worse. Yeah, I struggle with that. I mean, I definitely have yelled many times at the game. One of my favorite streams of yours runs back around Halloween when you were trying to figure out how to save all the camp counselors from Jason or something. I was so wrapped up in that. How is he going to figure this out? <laughs> Oh god, that game was fun. I like that game. I get super stressed out when people are really upset on streams. Yeah, the, I know it's like it's just it's just bad. It's never a good idea. But I'm I'm, you know, I can get very passionate. I don't know how to not sometimes. And it's so silly. It's just a game, but 
darkness, imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute purple. I cannot stop. It is so dark. It is so lovely. I would think these little hangy guys would be pretty dark. Little stalactites. Oh, it's James Hetfield's birthday today. Speaking of Metallica, I was just singing some Metallica for you. Anyway. Passion is different from scary anger. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever been scary angry. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> Streaming this is a great idea. Thank you, Musty. I think I just pointed out that you were already doing some painting vids and that the jump to streaming wouldn't be hard. Okay, well, whatever you did, you 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 gave me the, like, strength to do it. I just feel so bad for them, and I know that feeling that I get all garbled up in my emotions. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't be flabbergasted, Hungry. Come on. Ren struggles with that. What did I say? I struggle with... Getting too passionate. <laughs> Always engaging. She's so, you're so good at like keeping a conversation going and like, and playing, like being entertaining with the game, but also like connecting with people. Like that's a skill. That's really tricky. Okay, I'm gonna take a little more dark stuff over here. God, this purple is so yummy. I can't get over it. I just can't get over it. So the dark stuff you do have to be a little careful with because if I do something stupid and I don't like it, I'm not going to be able to cover that up. That's really dark. It's like going to video game yoga or something. Super soothing and relaxing. You enjoy Paco. We all suffer together to battle good with him. Oh my god, yeah. Like if you... if. Like, if her stream were an actual building, it would be have nice ambient lighting and smell like clean citrus or something, and people would use inside voices and smile at each other. Yes. Oh god, what is this clip, Deviate? What is this? You guys! Accept the love. Also, you guys are all so smart and know stuff about your games. I find that fascinating even if I don't have anything to contribute. I know next to nada about game making games, game history, RPGs, but I enjoy the knowledge too. I'm with you on that. I don't know much about... I know a lot about a very small bit of stuff. Once it gets into like different consoles and eras and stuff, I'm just like, I don't know. But yeah, it's fun to hear people talk. Playground with children of various ages laughing and having a ball in the background. And sometimes playing with good sportsmanship. <laughs> I've played some games a ton, but there is still so much to learn about them, yeah. I'm s I'm nervous of this clip, or what is that video, Deviate? I don't wanna, I don't wanna clip on that. Small local restaurant where you go to have a bite with friends, and every time you go, you run into someone you like, and you push all your chairs together to laugh and share food. I like that, thank you, that's a compliment. Phone's about to die, so I should probably hop off. Have a great night. Weeble, have a great night. Good night to Zero. I hope you're getting some work done on the PC. Oh god, what is this stuff? Alright, I'll watch this one. This is hun this is Hungry's. Oh, okay. Homer in the swear jar. I can never watch these things, they just spin, so I can't watch that. But, I don't know what mine was, but hopefully it was something not, not too bad. Um, 
All right, we're getting, we're, we're doing some good stuff here. Uh, I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna work on these stalactites over here. These these two guys are a little too uniform. going to throw a stalagmite right over there. How do you like that? It's pointing straight up. It's fun. Alright. Guys, this tower is looking pretty darn cool. I think we're getting close. Um, should probably highlight... I gotta put that cross on top too. And I still want to try to get rid of that mark. Oh, man. You lost at checkers, then threw the game in the car, drove it off a cliff into ravines, and shot the car and flew it up. Accurate. That is accurate. Do you would be a trampoline park laser tag birthday spot with very, irres very responsible owners? And no employees ever get mad and no visitors ever get hurt. And there's paint everywhere. Just splattered all over the place. <laughs> right. Keyglyph stream would be in like the public library. Oh shit. Like in the back room where they have like little seminars and stuff. And there would be some really comfortable couches. And uh, what else? Some Probably some hot chocolate I'm thinking would be mandatory. Maybe some cookies. Who doesn't like cookies? Right, that's that's closer than it was. That's good. There would definitely be some Apple II's in that library, by the way.
think that's better. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. So gross, man. My fro must be kicking. Just thinking about how we could all categorize our streams as some kind of establishment and populate a town with him. And then we just like, on different nights, we all like walk to that certain place. That'd be awesome. I like how my stream is a building where people smile at one another. Yeah. One of those almost after hours events at a library. Oh, we got a new the dudes one? Okay. I cannot verify that at Hungry Korea. Hungry Gloria. I never see them smiling. <laughs> oh. You're saying Kiko's streams are workshops on buying homeowners insurance. No, they're way more exciting than that. Come on. Like a classy, smoky whiskey bar. You're feeling relaxed with friends, but also sarcastic and sassy. You might be smoking a cigar, if that's your jam, or having a body laugh with the lady at the bar. You wore your best heels because you like how they make your legs look, and you're having a great time. I almost always wear my heels when I go into Nude to Dude stream. But I'll tell you what I always do as well, I always run in a zigzag fashion away from all the alligators that are in the games that knew the dude's place. Yeah. A library with a clickety clackety keyboards, yeah. And if anyone gets too loud, <laughs> um, Keycliffe just walks over and just goes, shh. Just a firm shush. Yeah, I like this town. What's the town gonna be called, though? What's, that's the question. What is this town called? And, and it can't be like Streamerville or something like that. It's gotta be something good. Speaking of shushing people, shushing people's great. And I'm, I'm waiting for the opportunity to really use it on someone. Like, you know when you're just like out in public and you just run into an asshole and you, and sometimes like, not that I've ever really gotten into a fight with someone in, in public, but like, People are just mean sometimes, you know? Next time something like that happens, I'm just gonna shush them and just see what they do. Like if some lady's just like, you caught me in line or whatever, and I'm like, shh. Just give her a look like, shh. Just see what they do. Cause like, you don't shush adults, you know? Twitch bird, Twitch's bird. Like a duck bird. It would just be fun to see the reaction of an adult being shushed, I think. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Probably have to do a little work on these spires. They're looking a little they're a little looking they're looking a little uninspired right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would give myself the comment of the stream right there for that if this were that kind of stream. But yeah, there's something a little funky about these guys. Twitch town, duh. <laughs> we can do better than that, can't we? They're good norm, but you're better than them. Tell me the movie, folks. What is that movie? They're good norm, but you're better than them. Sir's streams are the local used game store with tons of retro games stocking the shelves. And also he hosts multiplayer nights and competitions where all we all bond and grow closer and develop ridic ridiculous inside jokes. That sounds nice. Hungry Goria Town? <laughs> of course. Of course she would say such a thing. Ugh. The hubris. The hubris. I'm gonna make it look like this shadow is doing that. Yeah, it looks cool.
Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Richard Scary Books? Dude, I love Richard Scary Books. Hungry Gory is the mayor of the town. Colossal Crash. Oh, Colossal Crash. And stalls, installs everybody's internet. Yeah. I've told uh, Colossal many times that he's Sid from the Final Fantasy games. He's always just working on stuff and fixing shit. Busy Town. Those books are still famous child. Red Ox, I grew up with that book. It's a busy, busy world. Wasn't that it? With like all the countries and like the snake that was from Brazil or whatever. I freaking loved that book. I think my sister still has it at her house. Oh, I know you didn't just shush me. Deviate, I shushed you. Okay. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. Th but that would be so funny just to see that reaction of like an adult just be like, did you just shush me? Shh. Did you know that librarians aren't allowed to shush anymore? This was a specific rule in every public library I worked in. No shushing people. Really? What's the point of having that job then? What else do you do? I'm not saying they don't in all libraries, but that's actually a thing in a lot of places. No shushing. Okay. Why did you just say Top Gun? You lost me there. Now they just beat you on the back of the head with the dictionary and shut the fuck up. I had Mr. Noisy. He came with a read-along tape, and there was a song at the end of the tape that I loved. I remember those books, too. He got shushed by a patron. Clearly, I was not cut out for the library life. Your town would be a space station? Yeah, Regan would have, like, an orbiting space station, and we all have, like, a little capsule sitting around the perimeter, and we would just watch him in the middle. Weebles at the Barcade. I don't know, Weebles' setup is so perfect and clean and nice. It would need to be like a very pristine Barcade. What's the point of having that job then? What do you do? I did, <laughs> did you really just ask me that? It was a joke, I hope you know that. I guess that's the funnest part, I would think. That's the most fun about being a librarian. I'd just be like sh shushing everyone left and right. Barcades are a lot of fun. I agree. <laughs> Don't beat me up, Pete, please. There were many different busy town books. I think I have a set of them. Still some of my childhood and I got a reprints. Yeah, they're awesome. Guys, don't beat me up, please. Too late, I'm already in Arizona. I'm coming. Well, if you're in Arizona, you can pick up new to dudes too. And Red has like 50 degrees. She, you're just gonna beat me with all your degrees. And I'll deserve it. I apologize. All right. Um, I wanna make this look. See, it looks like round, and that makes it look like a little. First of all, it looks like make it look make it look like a mushroom, which is not good. It also looks like like a Middle Eastern sort of thing, which is not what this is supposed to look like. So. Something like that. All right, we're gonna go Dark Town again. Do the same thing on the right. isn't even a big deal. I just, I don't like how it looks like a freaking mushroom. It took my degrees away at the border? Yikes. <laughs> it would all end up with crying, ugly crying and hugs. 
Ugly crying is great. Who has ever thought that crying is hot or sexy? I don't know, that's an interesting question. I don't think so. I should just grab nudes from her house and us three headed to visit my sister-in-law working Star Trek Las Vegas right now, heck yeah. I suppose I should highlight. So what's going on here? I gotta fix this too. I don't know what the hell's going on there? All right, let's try to fix that. did a good thing, then I did a bad thing. Nudes, can you give us the example of what you're talking about? Like, is it from a movie? Like, someone cries and you thought it was kind of exciting? Point of sexing. If someone cries around me, I feel very bonded and have mad respect for their emotional openness. You can see that. It's good she doesn't wear so much though. Oh. Yeah, that's that's tough stuff. Like, crying in front of someone is like the most vulnerable thing, right? It's time to go to Dark Town again. Hang on. tight over here. Yeah, I guess I... I just think crying isn't meant to be good looking. I work in the behavioral health industry. I see crying a lot. Therapist's office though, I'm like a sprung fire hydrant. <laughs> and we do what we can to help that person in need. I mean, I freaking, I 
like with movies and stuff did i cry to like everything it's ridiculous like not like bawling but like i'm pretty sensitive actually I, I have a funny story about this sort of thing um did you guys has anyone seen coco it's the pixar movie on this little half moon looking thing. So I saw that movie. I had no idea what this movie was about. I was with an ex. Um, and she was like, do you want to go see this movie? I was like, sure. I was like, I don't know what it is, but yeah, cool. And, uh, <laughs> like, long story short, we were both a friggin' mess at the end of that movie. And honestly, if you've seen it, like, I won't spoil anything, but, like, there's a part where, like, at the end, you're just watching, and the whole theater, all you hear is people sniffing. Like, everyone is crying. Like, it's the movie's amazing. Like, if you haven't seen Coco, freaking watch that movie it's so good but yeah so it's, it's always like there was one part in the movie in particular that like just struck me very personally and I'm sitting there in the dark and I'm like fuck I'm like I'm gonna cry <laughs> so I'm like trying to like not hide it but just like I'm definitely I know I'm gonna cry and like I just kind of go to wipe my tear away and my ex who I was with, like, as soon as I did it, she was just like, Whoosh! like, just looked at me and I was just like, yup, I'm crying. Deal with it. And we dealt with it. And it was, you know, it was a beautiful thing. But yeah. I'm an easy crier, but I don't, as a rule, ever cry at work. I'm pretty much only in front of an immediate family, but man, movies, I'm a faucet, yeah. Or if my kids are crying, I often cry with them. Aww. During movies, I often sit there with tears streaming down my face, not a lot of movement or noise, but there are some movies that make me ugly cry because they kill me inside. Which movies? Wait, what is that? Misty Hobbit? You get Misty. Misty Hobbit. <laughs> you try not to cry in public, I always do my suffering in silence. See, it's a beautiful thing if you can do it with other people. It's like so, you know, cathartic. Just having misty mountains in my eye. <laughs> All those Disney movies make me cry. I sit in the kitchen and ball during Big Hero 6. Both my kids were fine. <laughs> yeah, driving with music is big. Up made you cry. Oh, yeah. Yep. My hose and I watched Up together and, like, we had to pause after the opening-ish sequence. We just balled all day. Nice. My husband doesn't cry too much during movies. That one destroyed us in the beginning. I won't watch Up. I can't do it. Did you try, Hungry? I'm sure if someone was watching, I'm doing a lot of the er erratic breathing to keep under control, but I well up a lot, yeah. I'm always crying when I have to pay the bill to get the popcorn and drinks. Oh, Roman. Dead Poet Society? Yeah, we just talked about that. Yeah, is it okay to have feelings and share them? Of course, we all do. I mean, that's what makes it, you know, a, that's what makes us all connect and like, that's the powerful thing, right? Because we're all humans and it's all very relatable. Wa Dude, Wally is my friggin', one of my favorite movies, Musty. I will cry every time of frickin' Wally, proudly. I fucking love that movie. I collapse in on myself during that part. Wait, which part? Oh, the, the Tara. You haven't even tried to watch up. I know it'll bust my ass up. You should stream it. Just stream watching it, Hungry. We'll, we'll be there with you. I would have never been able to overcome the gravity of chronic disease if I couldn't express my feelings. Yeah, exactly. It makes you, like, stronger, right? Mrs. Doubtfire has a pretty bittersweet ending. Sure it does. Yeah, Wally's the best, dude. The most I've 
cried over something fictional, I mean. Okay. You can just listen to my- st you like won't talk the whole time like, is Hungry there? And we're just like, yeah, she's there, she's just- She just has like two Kleenex stuffed up her nose. Amazing. Um... Yeah, Wally kills me. Ah, oh, man, I know there are some certain movies that friggin' kill me. Oh. Fuck, there's another one. I just watched Field of Dreams last week. And, and yeah, Field of Dreams is friggin', that'll get me too. But there's one movie, I'm, I'm not, it's down the tip of my tongue, I can't think of which one it is. I can't think of it, but... Every, like as soon as the movie name comes up, I'm like, "Yep, I will ball at that freaking movie, dude." What is it though? I can't think of it. This part is a little too bright, my friends. So guess what? I'll take that down a notch, I think. Yeah, Coco, though, was ridiculous. That one... Wow. Like, we had to... At the end of the movie, we just went to the bath. I just washed my face in the bathroom. Because I was freaking crying so hard. Definitely the hardest I've ever cried to a movie in the theater. For sure. up there. Big Fish, you mentioned that. I was, I wasn't crazy about Big Fish. I don't know why. Old Yeller, I still have not watched that. I will not watch that. Saving Private Ryan. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, news of dudes, that's, that's heavy. Princess and the Frog. That's great, news of dudes. Congrats. Great about your dad. Homeward Bound, no. Um, what was I about to do? There is a Danish movie called After the Wedding. Has anyone ever seen this movie? That freaking movie. Wow. There are some freaking rough moments in that movie. I freaking balled at that one, too. But it's really good. If you guys want to see a good, good foreign movie... After the wedding. It's with Mads Mikkelsen. You guys know, know that guy? He's great. I'm gonna take a step back and look at this nonsense for a second. And I also need to just stand up with my clammy self. Ugh. fix up around the top. I don't like how 
Hello, highlight. Highlight. I think I cry the most in theaters to the third X-Men movie, which I know sounds bananas. It does. I never saw any of those movies. Second most Return of the King. Oh my god, yeah. The freaking end of that movie. Come on. I fell asleep at the movies once. It was really late. Which movie was it? I didn't cry originally Return of the King, but try watching it when you're pretty new. When your pretty new husband has been away on business training for three straight months, watching the ending late at night by herself in your new house. Very sure I cried for an hour. My ex brought me to see Passion of the Christ with his youth group. That was an interesting how did you like the movie discussion? Wow. Wow. I also cry reading books. There are books I have that have tears splattered on the back bunch of the pages. Wow. That relationship didn't last a terribly long time. That's probably for the best. You can't remember while well, you were sleeping, I guess. That's funny, though. That's crazy, Hungry. That is a very interesting story. Thanks for sharing with the, gra with the class. All right, there are a couple, like, mess-ups here and there I hope I can fix, because it's a little messy. Oh, man. <clears throat> I remember reading The Lonely Bones and it gave me nightmares. That's a great title, but I don't know what that is. He was a very nice boy, but good lord. That's literally good lord. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Braveheart? How about Braveheart? Speaking of Mel, Mr. What's his name? What's his name? Is that his name? Mel? Who am I thinking of? You know who I'm thinking about. I'm trying to think, what is that one movie I can't think of right now? Maybe we, maybe we covered it. Maybe it was Wally. I don't know. I'll let you guys know if I think about it. Underneath, yeah. Man, I just love talking about people crying over art. It's great. I mean, that's what, again, it's relatable. That's what makes us all the same thing, no matter where we come from. You know, it's all that very relatable stuff. And it's beautiful. Yeah, I should go look through my movies and just be like, yup, 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 that one that one big time um i never saw beaches beaches was supposed to be like the big cry fest movie that was the only, always the one people would talk about but i've never seen it i don't think i'd want to but maybe i would i don't know I tried a Captain Marvel movie because it's because Marvel Universe wants me to take Brie Larson as a serious actress and I just can't. I don't know, it just gives me such life to hear people moved by things that they weep, you know. Do you guys ever cry when you sing certain songs? Yeah. I've, like, I've gotten a song in my head and, like, played it out or something and, like, I can't sing it because I'm, like, choking up a little bit. Not, like, bawling, but yeah. Yeah, I hear you, Kiba. Music is, yeah, I think um, Deviate said that earlier. Music is so strong, too. Like, it's a beautiful thing. Cried at the opera once. Can't remember which one, but it was Verdi. And at the end, the lovers are entombed under a castle or temple or something, and the song ripped my heart out. Yeah. I've seen a couple operas as well, and they are pretty incredible. Yeah, like when, if you guys remember, I went to see Wicked with my sister back in November. 
and it wasn't like the song was so sad or anything, but like the power, the woman who played Alphaba in it, the best voice I've ever freaking heard in my life. She was unbelievable. Just the power that she had was like, we, my sister and I were both just like, we couldn't even talk. We were both just like welled up like, fuck, it's just so powerful. It's amazing. The feels. There's some real feels in the X-Men movies. Music gets you right in feelings, yeah. Oh, I never looked at Alex Ross, no. And Fried Green Tomatoes always makes my family cry. I've never seen it myself. I don't remember the end of that. I've seen parts of it. You guys want to know something ridiculous? Yeah. The Final Countdown makes me sing. It makes me cry if I sing it along to it. The Final Countdown? That one? Like there's another final countdown? Really? Why does it make you cry? Best Hungry Cry trivia ever. Secrets. Confessions of a Renaissance dream. When my best friend of 15 years turned their back on me when I needed them the most. There were a lot of songs that got me through the horrible months. Social distortion, I just sang the jam. Thick as these. Mr. T experience, nice. Everyone knows you're crying are the three, the big ones I wore out, nice. So therapeutic too, right? Yeah, thank you for sharing that. That's awesome. I won't, I promise I will not bring that up. I have no idea why it triggers crying in me. That's really funny. Oh, the Final Fantasy VII theme song at night, or it gets you a little, the piano version. You gonna call it a night, Redox? You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna call it a night, too, because, again, I'm gonna take a shower because I'm still clammy, but you guys really declammed me, and I really appreciate it. And we're gonna, we're gonna do a little raid. But yeah, this was so much fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everyone who stopped by the preview tonight. And of course, we're hanging out here. This is amazing. We got a little tower going now, so that's exciting. I'll just still tinker with this over the week, but we'll pick it up next Saturday. Let's see who's on, who can we raid. Um... Let's see. Uh... What is he playing? Let's see. Do you guys want to raid Gargon? I haven't. I don't think I've raided him. Gargon 100. Let's do that. What the hell? So guys, again, declammed the declamation. I claim I am declammed. Um, raid. Oh, and Tallulah's here now. I'm gonna do that. Ah, oh, and now be sobbed as we are all crying. Well, we're all on the town of Gorilla Land or whatever we called it. Oh, Tulu's here. You guys wanna see Tulu real quick? Come here. You guys can see my cat. Hello. It is the Tulula. Hi, you beautiful cat, you. Yes. All right, guys, have a great night. Let's go raid Gargan. Thank you for the wonderful company, the support, and all of that jazz. Have a great night, guys. Yes. <laughs> Miss Mittens. Yeah, she's got little white mittens. If you guys want to see a picture of her, just scroll down under my stream. You can see a picture over there, too. Thank you so much, Key. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Let's go declam in the shower and, and uh, go to sleep. That sounds terrible. Have a good night, guys. Take care. See you Tuesday.